Welcome to everyone who is new to this. Um, this is CAD with Students and Mentors. I'm Kevin Ross, founding chairman of First Washington, and we are going to be talking about how to create your team in the Onshape environment. So first thing you'll want to do is to log into your account. Now, my account is actually linked to several other teams, and uh, let's face it, when you look at it, it's pretty messy. And if you look in here, most of the things that are in my uh, on shape directory are not actually mine. They're, they belong to the other teams that I've got going. And so one of the, one of the things that I'm going to uh, highlight to you and sort of stress that perhaps you do is to create a special folder that is for your team. It'll just help keep things more organized and it will prevent people from importing uh, from places that they probably shouldn't. So the first step that you're going to want to do is uh, go up to create and create a folder. And the, the folder should be uh, the name of the team that you're going to use. So I'm going to, we're going to start Team Woody. And you can see I now have a new folder in my directory. It belongs to me and it's called Team Woody. And I'm going to open Team Woody currently nothing in it, I'm going to suggest that you create two very specific files. Uh, and actually, they're going to be folders. One of them is going to be called trash. And uh, I'll explain a little bit more about this trash directory. But for now, one of the steps you want to do, create a trash directory. Second one you're going to create is a folder called team library. Okay. <clears throat> and um, the goal is for your team, any library files that your team wants to create uh, of, of imported parts or created parts to be shared by the whole team belong in that directory. So this is a, just a really simple starting point for your team, but I would highly recommend you do both of these steps and you'll see why here in just a moment. So now I have this team directory. It's now time to actually create a team. Teams are created by going to your account in the upper right hand corner and click on my account and you will uh, over on the far left at the bottom or somewhere in the list, but probably at the bottom is uh, teams. Now I belong to several other teams already. You this list may be empty for you, but we're what we're going to do is create a new team and we're going to call this team Woody. And uh, you can give it a description if you want. Uh, and uh, the idea is that you will be able to invite others to join your team. Um, and so th that's a, a particularly useful thing uh, to do. So uh, I'm going to put that off for just a second. So I have created a team. You'll see the list of team members down here currently is just me and I am the admin. There are two flavors of users that you can add to your team. There are admins and there are members. Uh, for our teams, we normally have all of the students be just members and we have all of the admin, all of the mentors be admins. Might be something for you to consider uh, mimicking. It seems to work well for us. I'm going to go back to my Onshape root directory here and um, and I'm actually going to back up one level and you can see that there's this this directory. This It's not really a directory. It's a folder. I should uh, use the proper terminology. So this folder exists. It belongs to me um, and uh, and nobody else. So um, in a di uh, and but I am going to end up sharing this with my team. The other thing I'll have you notice is that you may have all of a sudden ended up with a Teams uh, 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 folder over here on the left. And this is called a spin down control. I'm going to spin that down. And you can see the, the all of the teams that I currently belong to. But you can also see our new team. It's called Team Woody. I'm going to click on Team Woody. And it turns out that there's currently nothing in the Team Woody's team. Nothing has been shared. And so it is empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my Onshape. And I am going to click on this so it becomes blue. And I am going to 
to share. I, I've right clicked, I'm sorry. I right clicked on the blue bar and I'm gonna click share. Um, I am going to share with teams. So if you come down here, individuals, teams, and I'm going to look for Team Woody. And there's Team Woody. I am going to give uh, them access to this. I'm going to allow everybody in Team Woody to be an editor. The other option is to have uh, read only. That's also a possibility. If you're going to work with your team, you're going to want to have that everybody have the ability to edit. Um, I've added, uh, everybody can copy files. Uh, I'm going to have everybody be able to link to files. Um, leave the share uh, blank. It turns out if, uh, if you check the share, regular members can come in and change all of the sharing parameters. You don't want that to happen. So leave that one blank. Uh, they should all be able to comment and uh, we should be good to go here. Uh, you'll find that delete is grayed out. And uh, once you've clicked link document, export will also be grayed out. So it should be copy, linked document, export is checked, but grayed out. You can't change that. Leave share blank, comment you can check, and delete will be grayed out as well. So there we go, we're done. I'm going to uh, hit the share button up here. And you'll now see that Team Woody is has allowed uh, 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 Team Woody has basically been granted access to this folder. Okay, I'm not going to close it. Now, if I come over here to Team Woody as a team, you can see the Team Woody file has been shared. I can also uh, click in here and I can find that those folders that I created are also there. Um, I'm going to just create a document in here so that uh, just for demonstration purposes and uh, There's a document. It has come up in, in document edit mode. I'm just going to hit the back arrow. But you can see that there is a, uh, a, uh, a now a document and a set of folders. Okay. Now uh, I've got my team set up. Um, if I want to, I, I, there are other teams in here. Like uh, this, for example, is the, uh, the directory for uh, my team. Uh, but Team Woody has just that one single directory. By starting with that one single directory, you don't end up populating people's uh, on-shape directory with a bunch of stuff that they can't do anything with. Uh, you know, like I said, for example, my on-shape has files from all around the world and um, it, it becomes super messy. So there's a real big advantage to making just a single directory or a single folder for your team to work in. Apologize again, I need to use the term folder. These are not files. These are uh, uh, something a little different. Everything is just our entities in the database somewhere. So uh, file functions don't necessarily work. All right, uh, uh, with that, I am going to go and uh, back up here and administer my team. So I'm going to my account again, and I'm going to go to Teams and Team Woody, and I am going to invite my first team member, and it's going to be student Kevin RO. Uh, that is an account that I've set up already. It already exists. And I am going to hit the add button as a member. And I know that this person, that student Kevin RO, has successfully created an account because you get the little blue head uh, over here and I see the email address for, for that one. And you can see they were added, student Kevin RO was added as a member. I can also uh, add somebody who doesn't exist. And um, if I do that, you can see because of this little email icon over here, that uh, is indicating that there is not an account associated with that email address in Onshape yet. Uh, it's, it's a nice little debugging technique if you're trying to figure out why uh, somebody uh, is or isn't able to, to see your directories in Onshape. It's an indication that maybe they've given you the wrong email address or you've typed in the wrong email address for them. So if you're just seeing the little envelope signal, that's telling you that uh, they've got an email address, uh, it, and but it's not valid yet. I can also delete members. So if I wanted to... Uh, 
uh, get rid of this one, I can hit a little X over here. That's about all there really is to uh, maintaining um, your team list. It's super simple. Um, I will point out that add team members, I have actually successfully uh, grabbed a whole list of email addresses out of Excel and pasted them in and it seemed to work. So there you go. Going back to my uh, Onshape account now, uh, and I go if I go in here to Team Woody, uh, there are these files. Now, we're gonna switch over really quick to go visit uh, the account for student Kevin. And when student Kevin logs in or refreshes the next time, all of a sudden, there is now a, a, a team has showed up over here. So, and it turns out that the team Woody directory has ended up populating in this student's directory. Notice that uh, it was last modified by Mentor Kevin. That was the other account I was using. And it's actually owned by Mentor Kevin. And the, the interesting thing about this is that if I uh, right click this, I am unable to delete that folder because I am just a member and it turns out I don't own the file. And uh, this is one of the more confusing things about how Onshape works, uh, but that's okay. So I'm now going to go back to, uh, oh, what I'm going to do is I'm as a Team Woody member, all the work I'm going to do is going to be in this directory. So I am going, uh, so student is going to create an account. Uh, okay. Student has created a new document. Uh, this is the first time student is logged in. They're going to get some nice helpful tips. I'm just going to whiz through those. You may have seen these when you logged into Onshape the first time. And, and I'm going to hit the back button and you can see that uh, student, the student account document is here. Now, as the student account, I can rename my document so I can say student Kevin's, okay? So I can rename it, um, but if I right click on this thing, you'll notice that I can open it, I can open a new tab, rename it, copy, get details, version history, labels, and move to. I am unable to actually delete anything because uh, files that are created in a folder are owned by the folder owner, not by the person who created them. And this is a little, this is what trips a lot of people up. So uh, if student, and so the reason that we created that trash folder earlier was so that students have the ability to put things in the trash <laughs> uh, in sort of a roundabout way. So student Kevin have decided he didn't want that file, can click on it, right click on it, do a move to trash, and uh, now it disappears out of the main Woody directory. It is still, as you might have thought, in the trash directory. And so as the admin for, or the owner of this folder, Occasionally, you might want to go, oh, well, I wonder what's in the trash folder. Uh, that's there. Okay, I could, uh, I, I, I'll go ahead and actually put it in the system trash. And uh, now, again, students can't do that. However, if I go look under uh, the, ed, the owner, me, owned by me, if I go into trash, I can take his file and send it to the system trash folder. And the system trash folder is actually over here. And uh, you can see student Kevin's has shown up. Hopefully that made some sense. That is why uh, first thing you wanna do when you're working with teams is to create that trash folder. It gives them somewhere to uh, indicate that things are can now be thrown away. Okay, um, very good. And you'll also notice that uh, as me, I actually do have the ability to send this file to the trash folder. And so I've done that. And, or I'm sorry, to my trash. Here it is. And uh, if I didn't want to do that, I can right click it and hit restore. And that puts it back into the Team Woody directory. Uh, whoop, sorry, there it is. 
Oh, I'm clicking on too many things. There it is. So, it, uh, so you can restore out of the system trash. That's about all I'm going to say about that. Um, this is a great way for you to get uh, your team to collaborate, to be able to share files in the same directory. The other thing that we created was this team library file. And in here, you would put uh, things that everybody is going to share. Um, you're welcome to add more subdirectories to this. Um, in fact, I would expect that you would. Uh, a completely reasonable one is I have multiple uh, FTC teams, for example. So maybe FTC 7759, which is one of my teams. I might create a folder for them. And I might also create a folder for uh, FTC 7760, which is another one of my teams. Um, so, uh, and then you'll just need to communicate and have a little a session with your students about how to, uh, where to put files and, and how to put things in the trash. Hopefully this was helpful for you. That's, those are all the steps that I use to create a team. Hopefully that will work for you.